Good morning children. Today I am here with General Science Chapter 6. So we have completed this chapter. And today we will start exercise from this chapter. Exercise and question answer. So now let's start. Tick the correct option. So number 1 is the fruit. The fruit that has only one seed inside it is papaya, apple, mango, watermelon. And the answer is mango. Number two, the stems of tree like neem, cherry and shishamar, hard and woody, soft, weak, soft and woody. And the answer is hard and woody. Number three, the reproductive Organ of a plant is root, flower, leaf, stem. And the answer is flower. 4. Which of the following functions is not performed by root? So which is not performed by root? It helps in carrying food from leaves to other parts of the plant. So this function is not performed by root. So now, next, B number, fill in the blanks. Number one, the development of a seed into a seedling is called germination. G-E-R-M-I-N-A-T-I-O-N, germination. Number two, dash is present in the leaves and gives them green color. And the answer is chlorophyll. C H L O R O P H Y double L. So now next third number. Dash help in the exchange of gases. So what is the answer? Leaves. Leaves help in exchange of gases. So fourth number. A dash has a baby plant inside it. Seed. Seed has a baby plant inside it. Number fifth. Plant like rice, wheat and onion have fibrous roots. Okay. Now next change the underlined words to make the sentence correct. Rewrite the sentences in the space provided. So number one. Most roots grow above the ground. So you have to correct the sentence. Which one is underlined? So roots grow above the ground. No. Roots grow below the ground. So you have to write whole sentences. Most roots grow below the ground. Number two. Stems prepare food for plants. Who prepare food for plants? Leaves. Leaves prepare food for the plant. Number three, most flower grows into seed. So most flower grows into fruit, not seeds. Number four, fruits have flower. Fruits have flower inside them. Fruits have seed inside them, not flower. Number five, leaves fix the plant firmly in the soil. Root fix the plant firmly in the soil. Okay. So, now C number also completed. Now, let's start question answer. Answer these questions in one or two sentences. And what is the number one? Mention any two function of a root. And the answer is. So, what is the answer? The function of a root are. You write only two. It fixes the plant firmly in the soil. And number two, it observes water and mineral from the soil. So this is the first answer. Okay. So now next question. What is a stem? And the answer is in 49 page number. The stem the stem is the main part of the shoot. It grows above the ground. It bears branches, leaves, flowers and fruit. So this is the second answer. Now come to third number. So what is third? What is photosynthesis? And the answer is in 
page number 50. Now see here. Leaves. In place of they, you write leaves. Leaves prepare food for the plant in the presence of air, water, chlorophyll and sunlight. This process is called photosynthesis. Okay. So this is the third answer. Now next. Fourth number. Name any two stems which are used as food by us. So the answer two stems which are used as food by us. Potato and sugarcane. Okay. So this is the fourth number answer. So now what is question number five? Define the term cotyledons. And the answer is in page number 51. The food for the baby plant is present in seed leaf is called cotyledons. Okay, so this is the fifth answer. So now we will start answer these question in detail. E number. So what is number one? What is a leaf? List the function of the leaf. So now see here I have written the answer. A leaf is a part that is flat, thin and usually green of a tree or a plant with different shapes and sizes. Okay, and the function of the leaf are leaves. Leaf prepare food for plants. Number two, it help in exchange of gases. Number three, leaves of some plants store extra food. So, this is the number one answer. And what is number two question? Now, see here. Explain the three types of stems with an example of each type. And the answer is, see here, three types of stem are. Hard and wood stem and the example is neem tree, cherry, etc. Number two, soft stem. And the examples are mint, rose, etc. And third, weak stem. And the example is money plant, watermelon, etc. So now, what is third number? Differentiate between A, stem and root, B, fruit and flower, and 3, monocot and dicot. Now, see here. So, A number, stem and root. First, you draw the column. Draw the line and then you write stem and root. Number one is stem is main part of shoot. Root is main part of plant. Number two, it grow above the ground and root it grow below the ground. Number three, stem hold tree upright. And here root, root fix the plant in soil. So you will write three points. Okay, now next B number fruit and flower. So A number fruit can be eaten. Flower, flower can't be eaten. Number two, fruit is the final product of a plant. Flowers are reproductive organ of a plant. Number three, it bear seeds. And here it does not bear seed. And the third is monocot and dicots. So monocot plants plant with one seed leaf or cotyledon are called monocot and dicot plants plant with two seed leaves or cotyledons are called dicots plant. Okay, so this is the third number answer. So now see fourth number define germination. What does a seed need to grow into a plant? And the answer is the development of a seed into a seedling is called germination. The seed need proper air, water and warmth to grow into a plant. So this is the fourth answer. Again I want to show you the answer.
सो नाउ फिफ्थ नंबर वॉट कैन यू डू टू मेक अ प्लांट हेल्दी एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड द आंसर इज इन पेज नंबर फिफ्टी वन सी हाउ यू राइट टू मेक अ प्लांट हेल्दी एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग you can do following things number 1 find out the type of soil in which your plant will grow the best number 2 put the plant at a proper place sufficient sunlight is available for it number 3 give it sufficient amount of water and the number 4 look for any pests weeds insect or other small animal that damage crop okay so this is the fifth and last so now what you do you write this exercise in your book and complete this question answer in your general science notebook so in this chapter you have to draw two diagrams parts of plant so you draw this picture parts of plant and mention the parts all parts you will mention and one more drawing that is stages of germination that also you draw in your notebook okay till that thank you